welcome back to Let's Play Dwarf, uh, Dwarves vs Zombies, but there's me, the Dragon Claw. So, we're a monster. We died foolishly in the last episode. I'm really annoyed at that death. I... Uh, I don't know. I, I never see it coming. Like, I was trying to fight off that golem. I, I knew I wasn't going to kill him. I was just trying to like... I thought, well, I can't kill this guy. What am I doing? Uh, yeah, I was trying to kill the, the skeleton behind him, so I'll just get this proc and then run down the proc hall and just, we'll deal with the golem inside. Um, but I just thought, well, we've got no heroes, someone's got to take it down, and when I realised it couldn't, it was too late, I was blasted out, and he just picked me in the arse. I couldn't do anything about it. I detonated too early there. Whenever you see creepers in front of you, you should always like hesitate before you detonate yourself. Because they're probably gonna detonate and if they explode they'll send the people flying. So if you detonate at the same time, you're not gonna hit anything. Ooh, venom burner. Sure I'll take a chance to live for more than a little bit. <laughs> Just typing left again. Oh, that guy had a proc. I didn't realise it. Still a bit far away. It's kind of annoying. Damn lag reach. Uh, but hey, at least I'm a fully spec damage creeper now. Oh, we're not gonna quit quit because of one hacker. Just ignore him. It's a lot harder to hack in this game and still win because the dwarves cannot win. Like, even if he had like some sort of large radius force field that killed everyone that came near him, well, that's basically a proc. Just would have to find some way of dealing with that. Mass archers, mass creepers, eventually he'll be the, just the last one remaining. And, like, if the dwarves suspect it and like, there's like five of them left and they think, oh, he's just hacking, he's winning it for us, they'll just like die on purpose and we'll all gang up on him. I'd like to see him try and stop 30, 40 wither skeletons shooting him at close range. Well, not close range, but long range. Out of range of his hacks. And most of the time hackers aren't even very good at the game. Otherwise they would know there's no point in hacking. So it could be very easy just to keep damaging him and wait for him to forget to use his potion. And now the monotonous task of blowing up on the final shrine. I wonder who's left. Opie, Shaw, White Heart, yeah, and a bunch of other decent people. Oh, we took the lower shrine. No point in walking down there, there's a snake here. GG to the guy who died. Is it open? Yeah, it's open. You know, it's almost not worth proc calling that place, because you can never hold it, it's too close to the second shrine. I was hoping to get someone there. Not sure if I did. I'm gonna also go for adrenaline, just because. I'm not gonna go for any health upgrade. Because as a creeper, if you get hit, 
you're, you're dead anyway. So I'm gonna blow up on that guy that would send him flying and might like, save him. Oh no, 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 no. Like right then, more hearts wouldn't have helped me if I couldn't get away. Like, what's the next couple hearts gonna do? Delay the inevitable? Once you've got uh, the three that you need to upgrade to specialise, um, there's very little point in taking it further, to be honest. I mean, you don't need it to get to your uh, last ability. Oops. I don't have enough. I'll just spawn. I think someone died. Ratman did. Yeah, too late to say GG. But GG if you're watching. You know, it's kind of funny. Um, if Sea Otters really is hacking and using like a force field hack, you don't need to. <laughs> like, if you just kill one mob, you can kill them all. There's no advantage to having a force field hack. kills and we're down to the last pot call. As I said, this could still go on to like four or five gay high OP. Didn't even see him. <laughs> Trying to trick him. i I don't know, I I've not been near the otter to know whether or not he's hacking. Well, <laughs> tried to get Shaw Van, but he got catapulted over my head. I don't know why I grabbed that, to be honest. Gotta save up 500 for the Super Ultra Mega Enrage Creeper. Good trick there, your blast will penetrate wall, so you don't need to be in line of sight. Sometimes it feels really monotonous being a creeper. Especially seeing as you're probably not going to kill anyone unless you manage to take them off guard. Or knock him into spawn protection. I think I got him? Not sure. to knock him towards the shrine. I don't know, maybe he got stopped by the barrier. Ooh, bye, sure, man. No, maybe I should try and get close to him. Then I can have video evidence. Nope, nope. Back off! Did someone die? Oh yeah, Ongriff. 200 mana! Oh, GG. 300 men. Oh, I can't spam. Sorry, old bear, but he won't let me. Maybe he slam us off. Maybe. Oh, OP! I'm sorry. Ah, oh, not quite. 
was hoping to get in front of him and... Yeah, but... It didn't happen. You might have noticed that the length of the fuse has changed drastically. So now instead of blowing up just... Before the, um... Just after the creeper sound, it goes just before. would sure manage to try and stop him from getting back into the shrine room. Um, I'm not going to be able to kill him as long as he's got a proc because he has the momentum hearts. What is the name of that wall? I hope I didn't. Might as well go F5 mode. Unfortunately you don't see creeper animation, but you you get to see my skin. And I'm not really showing off, well, I'm kind of showing off, but um, I'm mostly uh, just uh, making sure it looks okay, checking for any obvious flaws in it. I'm gonna lack my depth perception of the um, first uh, person view, but And hooray, I've got 500 mana, so I can get the, um... Final Creeper upgrade. Ah. It didn't stay there. Smart people. I thought I could turn on some of the super secret settings for some... Hilarious... Consequences. I know people have often done that, played in upside down mode. <laughs> Looks so funny, my body goes flying. Alright, enough third person. And we've hit 4k! Hooray! There's still 8 left though. Could use some destruction creepers. GG! GG again. Yeah, fortunately we've blown the uh, sides out um, of a proc wall like either side. Uh, so we can get into the room now. Even though the shrine is still boxed in, it's nice to be able to like have somewhere to retreat to. At least it would be if I was a um, zombie. And the sides are getting blown apart, so now is my time to shine. Get inside there, blow up on the shrine room, and have them blasted out and away from the shrine, and then if we've got enough zombies on it, we can take it for our own. GG again. Gotta keep alternating between the two so it's not class of spam. Oh crap. Close to a sword thing. Looks like we were able to get all this in one video, so that's good. That's as long as they die. <laughs> the hero death sound is GG. Be amazing. <laughs> but just shouted GG. Ah oh, crap, I'm stuck in the hole. Didn't manage to get anyone there. I was not expecting that. I was just reading the chat and, well, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.